Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. So in this video, we're, I'm going to be talking about my um, examples. Obviously, I, <laughs> every video I'm talking about my examples and I'm explaining through my examples. But what I'm going to be talking about is um, I have been an anxious. I had been an anxious. This is so great that I'm able to say had and I'm, I'm actually able to mean it. But I had been an anxious all my life, which means that I was chasing after avoidance. Um, for those who don't know, I'm sure most of you know, but for those who don't know, there is this book called Attachment Styles by I think Amir Levine or something. If I'm remembering the name correctly, I read this about seven, eight years ago or something, and it is absolutely amazing. And it's taken me, um, <laughs> another thing is it it's taken me seven or eight years, even after reading that book and even after understanding the dynamics between anxious and avoidant people. Um, and I am anxious and I always chase after avoidant because that's a very common pairing. Even after understanding that, it's taken me whatever, seven, eight years to actually start to recognize right from the beginning of relationships that I am doing this, that I'm going after um, an avoidant and I'm chasing after an avoidant and I'm seeking validation from an avoidant and then to break that cycle, which I've started to do now. So I'm going to tell you about this um, example of mine, uh, this personal example, so that you can hopefully also learn to avoid chasing. If you're an anxious, you can avoid chasing after an avoidant. And if you're an avoidant, uh, I don't know, maybe you can learn how to not be avoidant. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit. I'm going to talk in a little bit of a detail as much as I've understood. Um, okay, so I, I have this tendency to always chase after avoidance. And what that means is that I have this thing that I always want to be stressed out. <laughs> that has been my identity. I want to be always... Um, looking for people, looking for validation from people who don't want to give it, who don't find it easy to give it to me. And it's like, okay, if this person can validate me, then I'm okay. Otherwise, I'm not. So I, I do that. Like uh, most of my, not always, but I either go after anxious or avoidant. It's very few times where I've actually had secure friends. So what happens, what ends up happening is because I go after avoidance, they end up leaving me. They end up abandoning me and they end up triggering my abandonment wound. Um, I think this has happened more over the last seven, eight years um, rather than the first many years of my life. Um, I think I was a little bit more going with anxious, other anxious people. My college boyfriend was also anxious. I was also anxious. We were both very highly anxious and we were both very highly anxious together. <laughs> um and then after that, my marriage was with an avoidant person, very much an avoidant person, but still pretty like not, yeah, not as avoidant as I the last few. He was not avoidant enough to, um, you know, he was a he was secure enough that he fought for me. He wanted me in his life, even though he didn't want the kind of intimacy that I wanted, but he wanted me in his life. So he was secure enough for that at least. So he really fought for me. I fought for him, but we it didn't work. But uh, Lately, I've been going after more avoidant people who abandon me. So it just became worse after that. Instead of me going on an upward trajectory for a little bit, I had a dip. For a little bit means many years I had a dip where I was going after people who would just abandon me. Just one fine day, they would be like, okay, I'm done. I'm out of your life. And then I would feel so triggered. I was like, there's something wrong. There is something fundamentally wrong with me. I don't know how to maintain relationships. I don't know how to have relationships. But what I didn't realize is that I was chasing after the more of more and more avoidant people I was chasing after because I was like, I need validation. I need, I need to know that I'm somebody. Or I need to know that I'm worthy. And that's the only way I know how to know is that go after the avoidant. Okay. So anyways, I was, I'm in a, I was in a girls group um, recently. There were about maybe 17, 18 girls in that group. And we were kind of connecting with each other and things. So the first person, <laughs> guess who I chose to connect with, was an avoidant person. Hmm. Telling, right? And so I chose, I, I reached out to her and we had a call. And uh, at the end of the call, and I talked and she talked and we, I talked. We followed the uh, rules of the thing that we were in, the course that we were in. And then at the end of it, when, when I hung up, I found myself, I was walking and I was smiling and I was like, oh my goodness, she liked me. And I was getting all the validation like I, she, because she said at the end, you know, that it's, this is great. And it was very nice talking to you and things like that. And I was like, okay, great, wonderful. So yeah, she was smiling and, uh, 
I, sorry, I was smiling and I was thrilled and I was like, oh my goodness, she likes me. And I was going replaying that over my and over in my head, like what she liked about me, what I said, what what made her happy, what like all of that. And I was doing this and it was, this was only 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, I did not waste 10 years of my life on this. <laughs> I, it was only 10 minutes, but it was amazing. It was such a breakthrough. It was so good. And I was walking. I was like, oh... This person is not emotionally available to me. This, this person, I cannot be friends with her. She does not want to be close friends. And I'm choosing, I'm, I'm wanting validation from her. And then it, it took me a few steps. I had to go through a few steps in my mind like, okay, I don't want to reach out to her again. I actually don't want to reach out to her because I was still holding on to that. But like, I want her to reach out to me or I want to reach out to her again. First, I was like, okay, maybe I'll reach out to her only once a week or maybe I'll reach out to her only once a month or something like that. I was negotiating with myself and then I was like, no, actually, I don't want to reach out to her. Actually, I don't want a relationship with her. I mean, it's okay. It's really okay for me to not have a friendship with her. And then I was thinking about the other girls in the group. And I was like, oh my goodness, those girls are so much more available. And they're so, they seem so boring. Like this is the girl I want to go after because she's exciting because she doesn't want me. <laughs> wow, what a breakthrough. And then I was in another group. I was in like, a, I was attending a, a seminar. Um, this is something, a Kirtan thing. And there were a bunch of people there. There was a girl there. And again, I, I started talking to her. And she was kind of being a little bit, you know, like curt, a little bit like whatever. And I was smiling at her and, and whatever. And uh, I was like really wanting to connect with her. Again, I didn't notice it immediately. It was it was subtle. Like I didn't notice it immediately that she was not being she was she was nice, she was polite, she was friendly. But I was like, but I want her to like me. And then I, I found myself smiling at her a lot. And I think it was 15, 20 minutes later or something. And I was just sitting there and she sat somewhere far away. And I kind of felt sad. Like, why is she not sitting next to me? I mean, she's almost the only other girl there. And it would be nice to sit next to me, right? Or come close to me or talk to me or smile at me. Like, I was smiling at her and she was smiling back. But otherwise, she was ignoring me. And then she sat far away. And I felt bad. And then suddenly I was like, oh, I'm doing the same thing again. <laughs> Guess what? I'm doing the same thing again. I'm wanting her to like me because she doesn't. I'm just go so then I was like immediately I was like okay that's okay I don't need to like and I stopped looking at her after that. I stopped looking for her. I stopped looking for her to smile at me. I stopped looking for that validation. I was okay. I was like done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done and then it was fine. It was I, I just lived my life and I completely forgot about her. It's easy in the beginning, right? It's much harder once you get attached. But in the beginning, before, just when it's starting, if you catch yourself, then it's easy. And then this whole thing just becomes so simple. So after that, like the next few days, we were bumping into each other and the same things. And I was just completely ignoring her. I was not even saying hi. When she said hi to me, I was like, wow I'm, I'm impressed I'm surprised because I didn't think that she wanted to say hi to me like she didn't for the few days because she saw that I wanted her it's just, it's all subtle it's not she's doing it she's not doing it like consciously or anything she's doing it subconsciously I was doing it subconsciously I just didn't know I was doing it and she didn't probably she has no idea she's doing it either but this is what we do so um, yeah so this is uh, when you find yourself chasing after people think about it who is it who is it is there in your life if you are anxious if you <laughs> feel like you're anxious then ask yourself who are the people in your life that you want the approval of who are who are the people who keep replaying in your head that like I want this person's approval I want this person's approval I want this person to like me I'm thinking of scenarios in my head look I oh I said this and this person liked me like wh where and what are those scenarios and uh, how can you disentangle yourself from that scenario and find other people? And you don't need to remove yourself completely. Like if they're friends, of course, I mean, I'm not saying end all of your friendships, although, you know, over time they will end when you start to realize you don't want that kind of energy in your life. But I mean, you don't have to do that, but just add more healthy relationships in your life where people actually like you just they, they just simply like you and you're not replaying in your head. Oh, I want this person to like me. You, you, so because when you're not replaying that in your head or maybe maybe some people might be replaying with everyone or with most people or something like that, that's different. In my case, I don't replay with everyone. I replay with certain people. There are very few people that I replay like, oh, did this person like me? Did this person like me? And those tend to be avoidance. 
so um, yeah so if, just notice right notice where you're at with that and uh, find people that are easy to talk to easy to be around and you, you don't find yourself replaying so much or you know or less or whatever depending on your personality and yeah just find them and uh, um build those and build those relationships nurture those relationships because they they might be secure they're most likely much more secure and they're not trying to energetically make you feel like you're not good enough and uh, by that they're not a- attracting you to them with because of the that energetic like you I, I i don't need you i don't want you you're not good enough for me like that kind of thing is like but i want your approval i want your validation <laughs> yeah the you you don't need that you really don't need that in your life um okay um so for now this is going to be more for avoidance if you want to work towards more security so or anxious also to understand so when does how how does a secure person handle an anxious person versus an avoidant person handling an anxious person one thing is that the communication does not just end abruptly where it's like okay i you are not good for me you are not worthy of me i'm not going to talk to you anymore just like overnight without any communication or with some communication you're just like okay i'm done and then the anxious person is left feeling abandoned and feeling like there is something fundamentally wrong with them <laughs> i'm getting emotional thinking because i've i've gone through that so many times in my life it's so painful it's so painful wow oh okay <laughs> um okay i need a minute yeah so the avoidant person will do things like that all the time and that's because they're afraid as well it's not like uh, you know i'm not it's it's not they're afraid they're going through their own things and the anxious person then goes through their own things they're like okay there is something fundamentally wrong with me nobody likes me <laughs> and i don't know how to maintain relationships is i don't know how to do this i don't know how like I, yeah um so the secure person will not have that like a secure person will work through things with you a secure person i mean it may not work out it's not that it will be like yes we are going to be together we are going to continue to remain friends or we are going to continue to remain romantic partners no but they will talk to you about it they will work through things with you so that you're not left feeling abandoned like that so that's one thing and then the second thing is like an an anxious person would want to know when are we meeting next when are we talking next they would want some kind of a fixed cadence or something so the avoidant person will never do that or will usually not do that because they are not into making the secure the anxious person feel secure they want the anxious person to be more anxious because that's where their um you know that's <laughs> that's their nature so a secure person will say okay let's talk every w- once a week at this time or something like that you know or let's let's meet on the weekend and let's talk once a week or let's talk whatever they'll they'll have a fixed cadence whatever their boundaries are around themselves they'll cl- communicate clearly like this is too much for me this is too little for me this this sounds perfect for me does that work for you and so the next the next meeting the next conversation often will be planned or will be set so then the anxious person is not left wondering oh when are we meeting next what are we doing they're not just constantly waiting by the phone they don't need to they know and so and if the person wants to talk more often then they can but the fixed cadence is going to be there right something like that basically there's going to be communication around so then the anxious person is no longer anxious they're not like i have no idea what is going on in the person's mind the secure person is going to let the anxious person and i've had friends like that too they're they're telling me that uh, i'm my focus is on this right now in the next i don't know how long it's going to take but my focus is on this my priority is on this so i'm going to be spending less time with you that's okay right are you okay with that i mean i mean you, you've got to be okay with that i'm i'm just informing you but like are we okay like there there's still going to be that care and the kindness and that helps me so much because then i'm not waiting anxiously i'm like okay i know i know where i where i am what things are and i don't have to keep worrying and thinking like oh my goodness what is happening did i do something wrong did i hurt the person did i say something did I? none of that it's just gone it's like okay my priority is here right now very understandable and i don't know when this is going to how long of a project this is or i i don't know so for now i'm just going to be withdrawing and that's not because i don't care about you or because i'm ignoring you 
it's i do very much care it's just it's so good it's so good that's a secure person that's a sign of a secure person so for an avoidant person if you want to become more secure this is how you become more secure um to an anxious person especially or to other people to anyone in general but you have to be able to face your own fears because you don't know you because uh, for an avoidant person if, if like if um, you you start to get close to someone and you panic and you freak out and you're like okay i need to run and then you want that human connection again and then you get close to the person and then you panic again and you freak out again so it's just that cycle that goes on in that avoidant person is like yeah panic mode um but if you want to be more secure then this is the path towards it however you manage to figure out so that it actually works for you <laughs> in your panic zone and in your panic mode if you when you can somehow figure out okay how can i manage this so yeah um i am no longer identifying as an anxious person this is amazing because i've been able to like just i'm i'm catching myself so much faster and i'm just bypassing that and i'm catching myself with my past relationships also yes this is an avoidant relationship this is an avoidant relationship so even though i am in it now and i'm attached to some extent i'm still withdrawing i'm pulling back i'm not like cutting it or anything i am acting secure now <laughs> where i don't need to cut off the relationship but i need to understand that this is uh, this is going to make me anxious if i pursue it and i don't need to pursue the validation anymore their validation anymore and it's okay and it takes it some time it takes some effort to say okay i am not going to reach out to this person anymore i i will would i will respond i will have a good relationship with them i'm not cutting anything off um or at least this i'm not cutting these two off but i am cutting these two off or something like that whatever it is for you i'm not cutting this off but i am going to withdraw this is uh, i am not going to seek the validation at least i understand that i've been doing that and i'm no longer going to do that okay so um that's it for this video um wish you immense 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 insights through the anxious avoidant secure relationships um, attachment styles and uh, wish you a day filled with lots and lots of personal growth rate rate